Hi and welcome back to Canada Top to Bottom. Today's short video is in response to a request from one of our loyal subscribers who asked us to make a video specifically on provincial nominee programs which are not linked to express entry and also do not require a job offer. This is quite a niche market and took some investigation, but it is a useful resource as for a lot of people getting a job offer before they arrive in Canada is an extremely difficult task and express entry may also not be an option for those with a low language level, low education level or minimal work experience. Of course, Canada wants to bring workers into the country who will help boost the economy, which means they want to attract skilled immigrants. This means that the vast majority of provincial nominee programs either need a job offer or are linked to express entry, meaning that you first need to be eligible for one of the express entry programs. But there are still a small number of immigration pathways which don't require either. So here they are, PMPs which need neither an express entry profile or a job offer, and we're going to tag on to the end, they also don't require you to be in Canada or have Canadian work experience. Let's start with the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, which has a program within their PMP called the Priority Skills Stream. This is for individuals who have experience in occupations which are in demand in Newfoundland and Labrador and have a high level of education, language and work experience. The program is intended for candidates who have neither a job nor a job offer and the work experience can have been gained in Canada or in another country. See the link below for a complete guide on the Priority Skills Programme. Next up we have Saskatchewan. One of the subcategories of the Saskatchewan Provincial Nominee Programme is the International Skilled Worker Programme. This programme allows Saskatchewan to nominate skilled foreign workers who wish to live and work in the province of Saskatchewan and can demonstrate that they meet the education, work experience and language requirements of the programme. Within the International Skilled Worker Stream, there is a subcategory called the Occupations in Demand Stream, which is for skilled workers who do not have a job offer in the province, but who are highly skilled in an in-demand occupation. They still have to meet the language, education and work experience requirements, but no job offer is needed. Manitoba has a subcategory within their PNP called the Skilled Workers Overseas Stream, which is not linked to express entry and does not require applicants to have a job offer. But, and it's a big but, you do need to prove a connection to Manitoba in the form of either a friend or relative who is an established resident of the province and who is willing and able to support you when you settle in Manitoba. And also, you must have either studied or worked in Manitoba in the past for at least six months. Finally, the Quebec Regular Skilled Worker Programme is for highly educated and trained foreign nationals who would like to immigrate to Quebec as skilled workers. You do not need a job offer to apply to this programme and you would be forgiven for assuming that you would be expected to speak French in order to be eligible. Now, knowledge of French is not mandatory, although it is desirable, and it will provide you with more points. Points are awarded for age, work experience, language ability, links to a Quebec, spouse or common law partner abilities, and having a valid job offer in Quebec. You will need to have at least a secondary school diploma and a minimum of six months of skilled work experience. Check out our video on how to immigrate to Quebec for more information on this immigration option. Of course, it is important to remember that when applying for a nomination from a province, you must intend to settle in that province. So if you're planning on living in Alberta, but don't qualify for any of their programs, you can't simply apply to the Saskatchewan PNP and try and sneak into Canada that way, fully intending to move to Alberta as soon as possible. If you don't plan on living in the province, you aren't eligible for the nominee program. Okay, so that's it. Just the four provinces which have a subcategory within their provincial nominee program, which do not require a job offer or an express entry profile. All the links to the programs we've mentioned today can be found in the description box below and please let us know if you have applied through any PMPs. Were you successful? Did you have any problems? If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more high quality content all about Canada and we'll see you next time.